Hello and welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 27, I do believe. We are now into the month of September, just after 8 in the morning, and we've got some weeding to do. So we're going to weed the, these two fields and the other field that is up near the chicken coop and the mushroom greenhouses. I forgot what they were for a minute. <laughs> Uh, let's get this started and put it onto a worker and then we can get going we'll go and have a quick look at the pigs we won't show you the feeding of the pigs in its entirety um, I've seen that many times but we will just go through the routine we will uh, see if there's anything we can start planting as well Here we go, it's got the worker going. Just stopped him there as we were trying to get out. Yeah, that's working. Right, we'll go and jump into the other Hurleyman and uh, go and get some feeding of the pigs. Barley seems to be the best price for the uh, for the grains in the pigs, the grains were a bit low. So this is the, to the left is the other field that we will weed and then to the right is the other little field and then we'll get this field here planted. That's probably with uh, barley I think and the field to the right also planted today and then we'll work on the top top fields a little bit later so we oh, oh, we, we were just over 20,000 I think um, so we got 20,000 there, so it's probably got about 3,000 worth of product in there. So we'll see where we end up before we start uh, delivering our September produce to the markets. I've got a feeling that pig, the feeding of the pigs is going to take us down to the line again. So we do have a bit of nice bit of manure going. We'll check the straw out. Oh, I don't know, it looks like there's still plenty of straw there because you can see it on the ground. Once we start losing on the ground, we'll start thinking about replenishing it. Right, so that guy's finished. First first field's finished. We'll go just get the worker started on the next field. Need to go and get the <laughs> the Hurleyman serviced and uh, refueled. Wouldn't want to break down while we were busy. We had a worker busy on the job, and the well, if you look at the, uh, it's in desperate need of a service. One always has to keep keep your eye on these things. They they do. Uh, do require looking after. I mean, even though this is a quick charge on the electricity, uh, it's still a bit slower than adding diesel to some of the uh, the other tractors. But uh, it's better than having to leave it overnight. Mm. Oops! Don't break it. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get the uh, the tractor serviced quickly. It's probably going to cost a bit. Uh, it's it's not bad. I mean, it's not cheap, but I mean, considering it was pretty much on its last bones, <laughs> it's not bad. I think it's relatively cheaper than uh, 
than a diesel diesel uh, tractor in terms of uh, servicing costs. I think if we'd had a normal diesel tractor, it would have been in the tens of thousands to to service. Right, we've got that going. We'll just jump in again, and we'll see you back at the pigsty. What have we got in here? So we we put in more um, basic food, and then this is pr pretty much the last lot that we're going to be putting in. It's some uh, canola to get the oils up, and yeah, we're down to about eight thousand euros now. We did, of course, service the tractor in between that as well, so it's not all 23,000 down to 8,000. It's not all on on pig feed. Let's get the gate closed, and then we will go on to our next job. Well, I suppose we'll need to start uh, thinking about doing our deliveries. Sunflower should, shouldn't be too long before it needs to be harvested. Let's just give this trailer a bit of a clean. Looking a rather dirty after feeding the pigs. Then we'll go and uh, do our two greenhouse deliveries, uh, mushrooms and flowers, they bring in the big money. We'll do those first and then we'll do all the other the other deliveries as well. It's a big part of our morning is uh, getting our produced, well let's say early month because we're paying um, one day months, is um, getting our produce to market, bringing in the money. And we've got to start. Uh, we've got to start thinking about making some repayments on the big loans that we have as well. Not sure how long that will take to to be done, but yeah, we'll get it done. Right here we are. We're just picking up the mushrooms. So this um, this is working rather well. We're getting basically two full crops a month if we had uh, if we didn't have a lot of such a lot of other stuff to do we could most probably squeeze two and a half out but two is twice in the morning deliver add water in the evening um, add another f full of water to both the mushrooms and the um, greenhouses right We'll just, while we're on our way down delivering the mushrooms, we'll just go and park up the the weeder. And then I think we'll put on the, the cedar and we'll go and uh, get the, uh, the seeding or the planting of those two, f two fields organized. It's all go this morning. All go. I don't know how much seed we've got in here. I missed the hook there. Looking better. It's not an awful lot, but it must probably finish that first field. We must probably have to uh, replenish the seed in the second field. Just stop for a quick check on the field. We've weeded it pretty much as best as we can without using any herbicide. 
just say partially weeded, but it does not seem to affect the yield. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't want to plant that, we want to plant. Yeah, there we go, barley. It's working out quite nicely. Oh, I didn't check to see whether this needed lime. It didn't say it needed lime, did it? I got so much going on, I think I'm missing out a few steps here and there. And we certainly haven't, uh, we'll have to manure it as well. These fields in the fertilize it. Maybe not this month, maybe next month. But we're not playing with um, precision farming just yet. It will be something that we'll, we'll buy in the future as part of the growth of the farm and part of the eco ethos of trying to use as little or we'll try to be or we'll try to farm as effectively as possible with your given means and precision farming does help a lot with that with the soil analysis etc but that's part of that's something that we will in inverted commas purchase as we go along <laughs> Be interesting to see how the precision farming actually reacts to um, weeding with regard to um, the weeder rather than herbicide. Of course it does use a lot less herbicide in the precision farming um, mode but it's definitely going to take down the yield slightly I think. Hmm. Come to think of it, we might have to think think twice about precision farming. I don't know whether it will will work. Might have to test it on another map just to see. I don't want to penalize us unnecessarily by doing that because it doesn't take into account the fact that we that the way we're playing can we cannot use herbicides so I think it's just about time that we get a work onto this field. We can pop on down to the market and sell the mushrooms. Should bring in a tidy sum. Yeah, it always makes it always makes a difference. I think I've mentioned it a couple of times before. Uh, It's taking all my willpower not to uh, go and build a whole field full of these <laughs> greenhouses. They're relatively cheap to, to build. They only require water and uh, you get a huge return on that. But that just would not be right. We wouldn't be able to justify the, the amount of product going into the size of the... Of the um, town that we have at this stage. Maybe as we increase the size of the town we can put a couple up but you know, let's try and be semi-realistic. So the flowers are actually going to get a, um, a better price at the, uh, the, back, the back door of the uh, farmers market than they will in the, um, farm at the, uh, the farmers market or the farm shop at the at the dealership there we go yeah so now we're looking we're looking comfortable again right so that's that planted up while we were busy gallivanting around and selling product it's just 
just this little area down here where we on the left hand side there you can see that it hasn't been planted we'll get that planted up and then we'll put a worker onto the onto the next field and get that planted while we do the deliveries of the of the rest of our monthly product so we're looking good but that's going to be the bulk of the income well that's not fair really to say that's the bulk of the income because uh, we will still get quite a good quite a bit more income from the from the eggs and the bread and the the vegetables yep. and at the end of the day we, we are our main objective is to supply the town so we do need to um, so we do need to um, keep a balance on what we produce as well oh, we mustn't forget that we need to get the uh, collect the product from the pick your own fruits as well oh, we're back at the farm now we need to get some seed the seed has run out of seed so we need to go replenish that bought a bag of seed we'll put it on the back of the trailer and we'll just pop it up to the to the tractor and the seeder and we'll go and fill it up oops that's too far over <laughs> here we go strip it in and off we go didn't get very far into the to the next field so we've checked it's probably been sitting around for a little while with not a lot to do it looks like it might be stuck in the tree as well so we'll have to free it we'll just get the tractor out to bring it up to the trailer and we can get it past those trees yeah we might have to we've been get, getting stuck a lot on the trees that are really close to the fields um, we may have to think about taking those down and replanting some more mature trees in one of the forest areas just to help us out as we get further there we go. it's on the go again the workers busy going let's take this back to the to the shed and go and put that into a bit of storage until the next one I'm pretty sure we will finish this field with the seed that we've just loaded now yes yeah, so I think we'll have a, um, a reforestation project going in the next few months maybe in the winter months just going around the fields and having a look at any trees that may be it may hamper workers and get those taken down and replanted I think that's pretty much a I think it's pretty fair to do that Pop your thoughts down in the comment if you think we shouldn't do that, if you think we should just leave the ones as they are and muddle our way around it. From my point of view I'm thinking more about flow workflow really. <laughs> Which being an eco farm is what is should not be our first priority. So we'll give it a bit of thought. We have of course done it once before, so... Right, time to get some more product onto the trailer and let's go and make some more money. I 
even though we're an eco farm we are still having to make sure that we do that we are profitable as well otherwise it's pointless And I, th I also think that with uh, when playing the game, it's always good to to have a, a balance of product that you have that um, is what reflects the needs of where you deliver to, as well as a product that perhaps is. I don't want to say cash cow, but that's kind of really what it is. It brings in, it is very lucrative for whatever operation it is. Well, you're not going to get up the hill, up the rocks. That's no good. It's got some apples to deliver. I think we've got some pears on the other, in the other orchard. probably gonna pretty much fill up this this trailer I reckon we'll have to do two deliveries come back and fetch the bread and eggs separate delivery we haven't collected from this greenhouse yet either yeah no we haven't so we're gonna go and pick up what's here yeah we'll pick this up and then we'll pick up the pears from the from the pear orchard and uh, take those down, get those salt. How many are there up there? Can't be. Oh, there's four. We must have forgotten to do that last month. I'm sure these produce two a month. Yeah, we've got a we've got a little bit of spaghetti to be delivered. We'll do that. In, we'll do that in in a second run. We'll go down and get these delivered. Go into our little farmer's market in the town green, town park, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so bringing, I mean, it, we'll see, we'll see where we get to afterwards. So we were on 8,000, so just over. So it was about 90 odd thousand that we got between the two, between the flowers and the mushrooms. And yeah, yeah we are 17, uh, 11,000 odd on that delivery. Yeah, so I mean it is, uh, it is a, a bigger, well it is going to be a bigger income uh, proportionally, but um, talk in proportion to work being done etc but um, yeah I mean the rest of our rest of our income sources are not to be scoffed at let's put it that way so we've got three each here so that does I'm pretty sure I collected those last last month I, I suppose it also depends on what time of the day because I'm not necessarily collecting at exactly the same time every day so it could could well be that we just because we're collecting a little bit later normally it's the first job in the morning I'm just trying to look to see whether we get any any byproduct from from these greenhouses that can go into the composting doesn't look like it I can see fruit lying on the ground. 
but there's no way that you can pick that up and then put it into the composting clamp. Well, the, oh, at least we know that now. So it's only the actual vegetable greenhouses that give us um, byproduct to be able to put into the composting. Which is it's probably a trick missed, but. Yeah, yeah. It requires compass, but doesn't generate any. I've forgotten what they called it. Uh, plant waste, or. I've forgotten what it's called in the other one, but <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, I definitely can't see anywhere that certainly no icons for for us to collect that. That's compost in. There's nothing at the top there. Yeah, I think we will just accept that that's it. We're not gonna be collecting any stuff for the compost clamp from uh, from any any of the of the Orchards. Let's take those interactive zone markers off and we can get on with our business. So it's just something I was wondering, and I think I may have mentioned it in one of the other episodes that we needed to check it out. Nice plums and some more apples. Can never have too many apples. I think the water's all, all okay in the orchards at, the, at this point in time. We'll check that out next month. We'll get this into our farmer's market in the on the green. I must probably mention it plenty of times already but that's how we determine what will that's how we get the income in for the pick here we are role playing that these have actually already been picked and paid for by the folks in the town coming around It'll be interesting to see I haven't had these orchards through the winter whether they still produce So how much are we going to get from that? This is just, just fruit going in there, so that's really good for the for the town. Good wholesome food. Yeah, six thousand. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll head on up now and go and pick up the There's nothing going in the nothing in the mold at the moment so got a bit of pig feed there. We'll accumulate that for a little while. Oh two loaves of two pellets of bread, that's nice. Bread always brings good money. We'll go and pick up the eggs and we'll deliver the eggs as well. It's probably going to need to, well, we will need to feed the the chickens. And that will give us a bit of extra barley or wheat to put into the, into the flour mill. That's pretty much the way we're doing it, is we... We, we're using whatever's left over from a load of of um, wheat or barley that we're putting into the chickens, putting into the mill, 
and then that's generating our bread and our and our noodles. So that kind of is um, well is, is more than making up for the for the purchase of the feed for the chickens. So it's a good bit of business. Uh, eggs, good business. It's Twelve thousand from that. And then we still got the noodles to go in. And then that's pretty much everything. So that's what we can compare to. Um, yeah, so we're just over 40,000. So. Yeah, so it's probably, let's say, 35,000 that we, that we, of income that we got from. From everything else besides the mushrooms and the flowers. Yeah, so it's about. So I mean, it is substantially more, but uh, the income that we make from our other little bits and pieces are not to be scoffed at. And of course, once we get into really selling the pigs, um, which should be only in a couple of months' time, we're about to get a, a good harvest of pigs, if you want to put it that way, and um, that should bring in a, a tidy sum. And then that will start turning over relatively nicely every couple of months. Right, let's, let's put some water into our greenhouses. Keep those topped up. Luckily this uh, trailer fills up pretty quickly. And then we'll also have to go and put in some water into the mushroom greenhouse and the flower greenhouse as well. But we might as well get these replenished at the same time. Oops! heavy water trailer still pushing us around a bit there. I think we just caught the edge of the comp of the uh, compost uh, bin. It was nearly full that so uh, probably didn't really need to be done. But we we're doing the job now we might as well get it done. So we've been um, had a fairly productive morning so far. I mean, we've uh, while well, we've been collecting everything, we've also done some weeding. We did a couple of fields, of course, with the help with uh, help of the local town folk coming out to help us work on the farm, supplying a bit of employment for them. So that's all good. Our little community is starting to work out quite well. There we go, that's it. It's probably it took all of the waters, probably could do with a bit more water, but 10,000 litres is enough for a couple of months running on there. Well, we'll just pop along down to the... and load up some water to go and refill the mushroom greenhouse. I think that's the next one we'll do. And we've just got the flower ones to do. And that'll probably be it for this episode. The fantastic thing about this is that it does uh, 
this trailer does fill up really really quickly it's it's only drawback is that it really pushes the tractors around because of the weight etc which is fair enough How are we doing on the... Oh, it looks like it's just about finished. We'll probably just have to go and tidy up bits and pieces of where the workers have missed. Yep, that was good. We got in there. Slow down well enough for that, so that's good of course it's been our little oh well I won't call it a bugbear but our little recurring mistake coming in too fast with this trailer just just work <laughs> these these things just work out fantastically in twos the one one full trailer will do two greenhouses do that twice a day and between the mushrooms and, the, and it generates 50, 50 grains worth of income. Cannot complain about that. Let's just do the flowers. And those will be generating the day flowers and we have day flowers and night flowers <laughs> fantastic that's just about it Well, I think that's pretty much where we're going to end this episode. do hope you've enjoyed the rather hectic morning's work. If you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!